5 Biggest News Stories from WWE Raw, August 10, 2020. WWE Raw featured a highly emotional ending between Ric Flair and Randy Orton this week. A WWE veteran made a return and it didn't go as you may have hoped. So, how are you friends? I hope you all will be fine. I have a request to all of you guys. I am a web developer. If anybody of you want to get your website billed or of their friends and family, then contact me on given number in description. I can make all types of WordPress websites like websites for repairing services, business portfolio, import and export, and sites for Google Ads. Also subscribe to help me out. I am covering all WWE backstage and onstage news. Let's dive into the video. Video gonna be little long. So please watch till the end. From a merciless beatdown at the beginning of the show to another masterclass of a segment involving Randy Orton, this week's edition of WWE Raw featured many contrasting moments. Following a bizarre week of WWE content, the company toned down several volatile aspects of their shows and delivered an emotional episode of Monday Night Raw this week. The road to SummerSlam has been highly erratic in terms of tone, but it has certainly been an interesting ride because of WWE's wildly fluctuating creativity and recent memory. Let us know what you thought about this particular episode in the comments section below. Here are the five biggest news stories from this week's episode of WWE Raw, August 10, 2020. Number 5. Dominic Mysterio got the bitter end of a brutal beating at the hands of Seth Rollins and Murphy. Well, I don't know if you can solely factor in TV viewership to determine how successful a WWE superstar is at the moment, but based on social media numbers, Dominic Mysterio is already a big draw on Monday Night Raw. This week, Dominic officially became a WWE superstar and also signed a contract for his match against Seth Rollins at SummerSlam. Rollins faced Umberto Carrillo shortly thereafter, and the Monday Night Messiah picked up an expected victory on the road to SummerSlam 2020. What happened next was certainly not a gratifying experience for WWE fans who can't stomach beatdowns that cross a line. There are pictures all over Twitter that show how brutally Rollins and Murphy beat up Rey Mysterio's son. Samoa Joe got some verbal jabs against a Monday Night Messiah, but he couldn't get physically involved because a commentary job essentially binds you to the announcer's desk for the rest of the show. Although Seth Rollins and Rey Mysterio's feud has had its own ups and downs, the road to Dominic's first WWE match has been quite enthralling to watch. Number 4. Shayna Baszler invaded Raw Underground this week. Shane McMahon's Raw Underground debuted to a mixed reception on last week's edition of WWE Raw. However, the whole idea did feel a bit different this time around. The dancers weren't a part of Raw Underground's presentation, for starters. While they may add a certain entertainment value for some WWE fans, one of the major criticisms against this idea has been that the company initially strayed away from what makes this idea quite exciting, which is an MMA-like approach in a fight club scenario. So WWE's brand of entertainment might not fit into the overall scheme of things, so they kept it a bit grounded this week. Dabba Kato made a comeback, and former Olympic wrestler turned NXT superstar Arturo Ruiz had an impressive showing on WWE's Raw Underground. But the rumors came true in the form of Shayna Baszler's appearance, who wiped out several women during this segment. Number 3. Apollo Crews suffered a defeat before his US title defense against MVP at WWE SummerSlam 2020. The Hurt Business has been on a roll in recent times, but MVP wanted to address his loss to Apollo Crews from last week's episode of WWE Raw. It was funny how despite being surrounded by two strong athletes, MVP chose to opt for the whining heel route to explain his loss. He blamed flickering lights and an unsafe working environment for not having the US title belt strapped around his waist. After Apollo Crews interrupted the trio, Shelton Benjamin took on WWE's United States champion in singles competition. Although Benjamin deserves a push in his own right, it doesn't look good that Crews lost to a WWE superstar who wasn't even booked on the show several weeks ago. On top of that, Bobby Lashley is in a different league than all the other superstars who are currently fighting to become the US champion. He could have easily injured Crews for good this week until MVP chose to show mercy for his SummerSlam opponent. Apollo Crews managed to get a small comeback against MVP, but the current US title holder definitely looks weak heading into WWE's biggest party of the summer. Number 2. Asuka defeated Bayley to secure a title match against Sasha Banks at WWE SummerSlam 2020. Everything about WWE's golden role models has been great in recent weeks, and last night's Raw wasn't any exception at all. Thanks to Sasha Banks, Bayley was forced to wrestle Asuka in a one-on-one -on -one match. 
The bout itself turned out to be quite engaging, and as many have said, it was the best in-ring competition from this week's WWE Raw. As expected, Asuka prevailed as the victor, which ensured that she would get a chance to win back the Raw women's title from Sasha Banks at WWE SummerSlam. While Shayna Baszler and Asuka vs. Bayley are examples of how far the women's division has come, Lana and Natalia's segment with a returning Mickey James wasn't the best part of the night. After all, it's a huge contrast when amidst a night filled with exciting action, TikTok and silly hashtags become the topic of conversation when the focal point should have been the return of a veteran like Mickey James. Natalia and Mickey James will face each other next week, but I seriously hope that cringeworthy segments won't dilute Mickey's comeback in WWE. Number 1. Randy Orton brutalized Ric Flair during one of the most emotional WWE segments of 2020. Kevin Owens vs. Randy Orton was supposed to be the last part of this week's WWE Raw, but what we got was a highly emotional segment to close out the show. After Orton defeated Owens in a good match, he told Ric Flair to stay in the ring for something important. Apparently, the fact that Orton had to unnecessarily face Owens this week was Ric Flair's fault. And after labeling the WWE legend as a liability, Orton dug deeper and stated that he knew he was the son Flair always wanted. Flair did an excellent job of displaying his emotions, as the Nature Boy cut a heart-wrenching promo on why he still comes out and supports Randy Orton at this stage of his life. Seriously, go watch this segment if you haven't done so yet. At the end of the day, Ric Flair got punted and low-blowed, which further solidified Randy Orton's position as the most despicable heel right now. On a side note, I liked how the flickering lights amidst other production issues factored into this segment, which further displayed how Retribution's actions have affected Raw and SmackDown. Drew McIntyre came out too late, but the stare-down between both of these WWE superstars brought an end to another amazing pit stop on the road to Orton and McIntyre's inevitable contest at SummerSlam 2020. So, this was the video of today. It was a long video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Subscribe the channel and peace out. Hello, I am Ned. I am a businessman. I wanted my business online, but had no website. People wanted to check my products. I had great products to offer, but had no website to present. But then, I found Designing Beast. The best WordPress website designers. What I got from them is, on time delivery, 100% satisfaction, excellent communication and best quality business website. What they provide? The stunning business site with premium design that is responsive and totally customizable. Speedy site, content uploading, design counseling and customizable design. So hire them now. Place your order now to turn your dream website into reality. Feel free to ask questions and discuss your project by messaging.